Um, okay, so I want to now create a detail view of this particular area of this view. So that's the next icon over, detail view. And again, it says select the parent view. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this view. And then what it's basically asking you, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's asking you to draw a circle that kind of encompasses the detail area. And it's wanting to know kind of the center. So I'm gonna start here and then start to move. So you can kind of see I clicked right about there and then I'm gonna to start to move and you can see I'm now able to specify the size of my detail circle. I'm also able to define where I want my detail label to be. So you can kind of see, I can move that around. And you're gonna see something really cool here in just a second. So I'm gonna do maybe something like this, okay? And then as soon as I had clicked, I now get this detail view. And it gives us the ability to specify what scale. And it typically it does twice the scale. So this was a two to one. So now it's making my detail four to one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that over here and say okay. And this is a detail of this representation. Now here's what I think is really kind of cool. I can come back and I can change the location of this circle. So I could drag this down like so. And notice my view instantly updated. It kind of now has more of that curve to it, for example. I could also change the size of my detail view and it's going to automatically update. So we give you a lot of flexibility there. Um, let me kind of move this back a little bit, sort of centered. And I can always come in and move that B. So I'll just click on that little um, B, for example, and move it down. Oops, it jumped over. <laughs> but you can drag that and, and change the location of where the, the text is supposed to be at.